Hey, so what's good, everybody? Hey, welcome back. You guys read the thumbnail, so you know what I'm doing, right? We finna make, you know, listen, real simple, air fried cheeseburger egg rolls. Now listen, I'm just going ahead, and I gotta hurry up and start, because I got a few people coming over here, and I'm gonna make them in a, I'm a, what I'm getting ready to do is make a, probably make a hundred of these, but I'm gonna show you how to make them at home. Super easy to do, you know what I mean? So obviously, like I, you know, I practice what I preach. I grade my own cheese, right? So I'm just showing you this right here. You know what I mean? Just so you guys can see that I am true to what I say. This helps it, you know, it helps it uh, melt easy. And then when you look at it, look, I do the small side, right? So all of this just helps. We want it to be just like a cheeseburger with that melted cheese on top. That's what we want. Okay, so look, looking at these ingredients, this should like take you home, right? If you like cheeseburgers, you're familiar with all of these ingredients right here, right? Outside of these egg roll wrappers right here, all of this will keep you familiar. And don't forget, the full ingredient list is on my website. That's smokingandgrillingwithab.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com. All right, so look, don't let this pan fool you because we got to, you know, go ahead and brown. You know, matter of fact, we're talking about browning. Let's just go ahead and drop it in right now. All right, so with that going, I just want to show you guys, listen, we're going to be doing it in the air fryer. Hence, it's already in the title, but I just want to make sure you guys know that. You know what I mean? Uh, we're going to do it a little bit more on the healthier side without all of the oil. Get yourself one of these, right? Most people, if you don't have hex clad, because you can use actually metal utensils in here, because it's in the design is why things don't stick. But if you have like a non-stick pan, you don't want to scratch it up and ingest none of that non-stick, whatever they spray on there. Listen, get yourself one of these meat mashers like this. You know what I mean? Hey, this is nice though anyway. It helps it get small and ground, as you guys will see. Right, so I'm just breaking it up right now. All right, so you see how we see the pink on the top, right? It's starting to cook. You can actually see the brown coming up, trying to cook everything from the bottom, right? This is about the point where I go ahead and add my onions. Now, don't forget, this is all customizable, right? For those of you guys, that some people like to get theirs, uh, no pickle, no onion, right? Or they don't want no onion on their burger, nothing like that. So look, that's when you go ahead and you just say, okay, I won't put that in there, right? But there's some people that put certain things on there, you know what I mean? Uh, hey, I got one for you. I made these egg rolls before. I deep fry, fry those, but I put french fries in there too. I just cut them up like little tomato. I mean like little uh, potatoes, you know what I mean? Because I cut them into like little squares and add them also. And then if you look at this right here, look, this right here is my burger rub. We making burger, right? Mm, you guys got to have this. Don't sleep on it. Now we go ahead and do a little seasoning. But don't forget, on my website, I'll give you guys an option. You can, you know, what to use as far as your seasoning goes. You know, it, just in case you don't have it, but you will. Now we're gonna take our W sauce. Now this is where you wanna season and you wanna taste everything, right? So once everything is cooked, I can see that it's cooked, right? I can see that my onions are the way that I like them. You know what I mean? Now I'm gonna add a little bit more onion to this because I like a little texture on my onion too. So even when I get a burger, I don't mind having like the onion just cut and sliced and just put on top of my burger, right? So we just add just a little bit more here, right? Now what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and taste it. I wanna know where we at as far as my seasoning go. And don't forget, all of my seasonings, anything that you get from me is on the low sodium side, right? So with that being said, this is when you go ahead and add yourself like a pinch. You know what I mean? Uh, that's just enough right now. Now, I turned off my fire. Now I'm gonna start adding my cheese to it, right? Remember, we did it on the fine side. That's real nice. Thin, easy to melt, right? It still got heat in the pan. So what I do now is I just mix this up because we want it to be, you know, cheesy. Now you have it all completely, you know, melted, then you want to go ahead and add your relish. This is where I add relish for me. You guys can use dill, that's what you like. You know what I mean? It's completely up to you. But for me, I like sweet. Okay, once you, you get here, look, we didn't put the relish in there, that's fine. If you guys want to add a little bit of mustard in there, you can do that too, right? Which I think I'm going to add a little mustard to it, you know, stir it all up and get that mixed in there, right? And then, if you take a look right here, I already started to preheat my uh, air fryer. I preheated it at 360 degrees. I'm gonna be honest with you, if you guys have one of the better quality uh, air fryers, you guys don't have to do a uh, preheat. But you know, uh, so I'm covering all bases. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so now when it come to wrapping, right? 
to make it real simple, you want to have the point facing you. It should look like a, like a, a, a diamond, right? So once you have that there, go ahead and get yourself two tablespoons. It depends on your skills. You can put as much of your filling in here as possible, right? I'm going to put just a little bit of cheese here. You know what I mean? Because everybody here like everything cheese, right? And then we're going to pull from our side, I mean from the bottom, that point that was pointed at us. We put this on here and now we just going to roll it. Right? I just roll it just a little bit, try to roll it as tight as I can. I push down here and now I fold, right? Because we want to seal that. We do the same thing over here on this side, right? And now we continue to roll. And then we take our finger. Oh, and I probably need to let y'all know that too. You guys want to get yourself a little something or a little sponge or a paper towel that's wet, run your finger across it, and then you can go ahead and get, get your finger wet and that helps seal this. I know some of y'all, when I deep fry them, sometimes I like to use egg. The water works just fine right here. All right, so once you get them all rolled up the way you would like for them to be, look, you want to open up your tray. Ah, uh, it's nice and hot already, right? Because we did a little preheat. Go ahead and just spray the bottom with a little non-stick spray. You know what I mean? Uh, now that you have that done, we just want to go ahead and put them in, in the inside, right? I like everything. Anytime I put something, no matter how I'm cooking, I don't like nothing to like touch, right? If you let it touch, it becomes an issue. You know what I mean? Uh, you want to be able to, especially using the air fryer and the oven also, you want to make sure the air can get around it. You know what I mean? And cook everything thoroughly. All right, so it depends on how big your air fryer is and how many you get in there. I can get another one in there, but just for the purpose of making this video so you guys can see it clearly, this is what you want to see. Now, once you put it back inside, we're going to do 360. You knew that already, right? So power, we're going to get this up. We want to drop this down to 360, and then we're only going to put it in for six minutes, folks. Then you go ahead and flip them, and then you put it in for another six minutes. So it's going to go in the air fryer for a total of 12. All right, so here they are done. I don't know if you guys can hear them, but boy, they sizzle. Still juicy. I'm gonna go ahead and make the rest of these real fast. But I just wanna show you guys what we're working with. Great little finger foods, great to put out for like the party. Right? So we'll just scoot these down. Hey, what can I say? Take a look at these. And I gotta hurry, man, because I gotta do a bunch of these. I'm gonna be doing them in the oven. You know, I got a convection oven, so I'm gonna be doing them in the oven, air fryer. You know I mean? I gotta fill up two large, deep, you know, pans. So, with that being said, listen, I'm not finna over talk nothing right here. Let me just grab one of these. They didn't have a little time to uh, cool. Now, you guys can make any sauce you like, but I like to have a little bur uh, burger sauce. But if I don't have the burger sauce, I go ahead and use that ketchup. With that being said, you see that right there? Look at that. Cheers, y'all. Mm. You know what? I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I better not eat two or three of these because if I do, it's going to make me just want to kick back for a second. And I got a lot of these to make. Now, with that being said, nice, crunchy, flavorful. Remember, we taste it as we go. We made our adjustments real easy. And the key thing was we used our air fryer. We didn't use our oven, right? Because it's summertime right now. Who used? Hey, I'm out here in Vegas. Yesterday was 118 degrees. So who find up an oven in the house? If you make this, please go to Instagram, use the hashtag SNG with AB, and that's W-I-T-A-B, and let me see what you made. Whether it's these egg rolls or any dish that you got, I wanna check it out. If you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out here, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know how I leave these videos, I'm out. Peace.